We're going to take a picture. We're going to leave, leave you alone. You go on and go to sleep. BMW's hip hop and R&B. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Didi, in the morning. My girl, Lady hey. J. Hey, guess who we hey. with y'all? Come on. Party hey. Hey. Make sure y'all check out that interview because we talk hey. about everything from love. Uh, what else, Jade? Uh, we talk about beef. We're going to talk about if she beefing with Nicki Minaj. Oh, like no. China. <laughs> what? By the way, turn around and show them that ass, girl, because that ass is on. Go ahead. Yeah. Let it go. Let them know. Then I'm quick. Cut them off. So don't get the this is your girl Cardi B. Make sure y'all check out K104, the big station, baby. I don't dance now, I make money move. Say I don't gotta dance, I make money move. If I see you now on speak, that means I don't f with you. I'm a boss who a work a work. Before hip hop and R&B, Didi in the morning with Lady Jade and Michael Sean. Our next guest, I gotta tell you something right now. This chick right here then took over the game already. What? The rap game and changed because of her. Y'all give it up for Cardi B. Hey. What up, Cardi B? Good morning. Why are your sugars from Papa Rose? <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, don't judge us. Wait, we get let, it where we can. Let me tell everybody. So Cardi B's <laughs> here in the studio, and she's she's very sleepy, and they went and got her some coffee, and they brought in the whole thing, like the sugar and the cream. Our sugar says Papa Do's, girl. It really does. Oh, my God, no. That's so good, right? That's so black. <laughs> you know you always got to grab the extra handful when you leave the restaurants, right? Yeah, like my grandmother, like... She got like barbecue sauce from McDonald's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, exactly. Like ketchup packs. Uh -huh. Everybody okay. has that drawer that has a Taco Bell sauce, all, all the extra sauces yeah. in it. Yeah. Cardi <laughs> B is here in the studio, everybody, uh, in town, and is sleepy. Please explain to everybody why you're so sleepy. Come on, let them know. Because I was booked in in the strip club, right, and then uh -huh. right after I went to the studio. Oh, you went right to the studio. What are you? Okay, now are you working on the album? Because there's been a lot of controversy about that. Are you doing a drop an album? Like, what's going on? I, I'm working on an album, and I really wanted to drop an album um, in October. Mm -hmm. But I'm just not like you're so busy, right? It's hard. Like, look at you going into a studio while you're in Dallas. Yeah. And is I, that what it is? It's is that I'm busy, and then it's just like. I, I feel like I need more songs. Oh, uh, okay. Like, cause I, I like the ones that I have right now. You know, everything I do is flavor, but it's just like... <laughs> it's just like an album is an album. I'm a little scared now. Yeah, yeah. So what were you doing in the studio last night? What did you have to go do? Um. Well, when um I went to the studio, my boyfriend booked the studio session. Uh-oh. You know, I'm we got to talk about that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Who's your boyfriend? Say that again. I'm sorry. My boyfriend? Yeah, say it again. Offset from Migos? Yeah, 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 that's all we want to hear. We want to hear his name. We want to hear you say his name. Yeah, how you, what you call him? Come uh, on. Do you call him Offset? Uh, no, I call him um, Raindrop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. She is so Go silly. ahead. <laughs> so raindrop. Yeah, you went into the studio. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, when I got there, he was just showing me beats and stuff, and I was just trying to vibe to it. Then I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. In the and, studio. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I love it. It's tiring. Your man. makeup looks so pretty. Is that from last night? Mm hmm, girl. I ain't shower, I ain't brush my teeth, nothing. <laughs> nothing! <laughs> She's so honest. I love, I love it. it too. Okay, everybody, we are talking to Cardi B, who is like a huge star right now. Yes, girl, she you is. are like the biggest thing. When I saw Janet Jackson doing your song, and I, I saw you commented on it too. Yeah. In concert, I know you were like, I, this is crazy. Beyonce coming up to you is crazy right now. I girl, when I show that video, I pull all my edges. <laughs> <laughs> she is so crazy. Okay. Okay, so we were gonna bring up the boyfriend later. But you know, you and Offset are definitely the cutest couple ever. So of course we gotta get into that. Like, how how did that happen? Like, how, how did y'all hook up? Oh, well, you know, the boy like me. <laughs> <laughs> what was his approach? Like, did he come to you and was like, hey, baby, what's up? I mean, like, how was it? What, what, why'd you choose him over everybody else? Because he know you get hollered at all the time. Um, because uh, he, he show, um, he show one to me. And I was like, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk it out. And ever since then, you know what I'm saying? We've been around here. <laughs> so do you want like are you at the point where you're thinking about like you would actually have his child I mean not now you know what I'm saying I got this whole career I can't mess it up now no really <laughs> really that's, that's a trip so many people you know I could afford a child mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. I could really afford a child but it's like can I afford to take care of my child and my mom and my dad and everybody else yeah. no not right now so oh, Cardi okay. let's talk how did you end up on Love and Hip Hop Just tell everybody I don't even remember how you ended I didn't know you showed up and you were the star How'd you end up on Love and Hip Hop? 
The copy is not good. It's hot. <laughs> 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 um, well, you know, um, I had a big following before Love and Hip Hop. Mm. I had a million followers. Wow. Mm, girl. Oh, yeah. Okay. And um, I was working on music mm. already mm -hmm. before Love and Hip Hop. But, like, I don't know, like, when I, before, uh, before I went to Love and Hip Hop, I keep thinking, like, it's like, damn, if I go to Love and Hip Hop, um, like, it's gonna be harder mm -hmm. for my music because I know a lot of people don't take the artists on Love and Hip Hop seriously, and it would be a big pressure for me. Mm -hmm. Um, it's gonna be a big pressure for me if I keep telling people on TV that like I do music, I do music, and then they they're gonna want to hear my music, and if they don't like my music, they're gonna criticize it more. Mm -hmm. But then it's just like, all right, I'm doing music, but I'm still a dancer, right? Okay. And I don't know if my music is gonna take me nowhere. So it's just like, why give this opportunity that might take me out the strip club? Mm -hmm. And um. I just did it. You just did it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, like I said, it's like everybody is, uh, you are the it girl right now yeah, in are. the game. Like you are the it girl. Everybody <laughs> wants to wants to collaborate. Who do you want to work with more than anything? You know, um, I don't like to say no names mm -hmm. because if I ever ask them to do a collab with me and they say no, mm -hmm. <laughs> they feel very stupid. Ain't nobody gonna tell they you not no, gonna tell you no right Ain't nobody now. gonna tell you that no. That damn no. money move, that mm -hmm. Bodak Yellow is so crazy. That I, I, mean, I mean, I got a lot of collabs coming, though. Mm -hmm. Hold up, I gotta ask you, because I'm like... It's the, cold in here. Yeah, it got a bum my itty bitty blanket. <laughs> <laughs> she has a blanket wrapped around her. Hilarious. Okay, you just ran into Beyonce. Yeah. Mm -hmm, girl. Which was a big deal. Like, mm -hmm. I was super excited for you. Are you planning on doing a collaboration with her? If God <laughs> send me a song, oh, no, that's right. Come on, girl. You actually got a little voice on you. Yeah, right. That, that bitch, the vocal. <laughs> okay, wait. We were just talking to you about collaborating, possibly with. Beyonce. Yeah. Before we even get into other wait, stuff. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if I'm going to collaborate with her. I'm we're just putting it into the universe. We put it into the universe, girl. Yeah. Hold we put, put that in the universe. Put yes. that in the pot, man. Yes. <laughs> but if you do, we'll say that we heard it here first. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. So, real quick, we were just talking about, um, before we went to a break, too, or during the break, we were talking about um, you and the Hot 100. You're number two right now, right? Number mm -hmm. two, which is huge. Getting ready to knock Taylor Swift out the number one spot. I hope Jesus. And what is this? The <laughs> first time I think they said that a rapper, a female rapper, definitely hitting number one without having a guest on it and all that other stuff. Like, how, I know you. Like, do you wake up every morning and pinch yourself and think, "Is this a dream or what?" Like, do you? What um, is your reaction to all of this? Like, you know, I don't. I don't really know how um, the music thing work. All I know is that I know how to make music. I know how to write. I know how to rap. I ain't really, you know, when I hit the billboards, like my dude was like, oh my God, you on the Hot 100 billboards. And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, right. So, okay. <laughs> and then it's like, it's like, this is, this is what, what people work hard for. Yeah. This is what artists work for. And then he was showing me um, how the charts, like on iTunes, mm -hmm. like, top charts right when you trend like he was showing me all of the, all of that how it works mm -hmm. and then it's like oh my god like it started it started then i started to get like an obsession over it like it's like am i number one again on top charts wow. today on itunes wow yes, I am. am i number one on this am i number one on that and then um and and the higher and higher that I keep climbing on, like, the billboards, it just, like, became, like, it's kind of like a game now. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, I want to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And now that it's just, like, I never, I never really care about doing the number one thing. I just, it was but now it's just, like, I need to have it, like... I want it. Yeah, I I'm saw, so close to it. No, I absolutely. saw you in an interview too, and they were trying to ask you about, you know, the beef uh, if there was one with you and Nicki Minaj, mm -hmm. and you were like, "Look, I don't, I, I don't even worry about all that. I'm just trying to get my money." I think you said shmoney. Yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> I think you said shmoney. I think let me quote you. You said shmoney. <laughs> like I, I just, I just feel like people are like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, like you know me, a girl like me. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of beef with with females in the streets. Like I. There's beef that follows me mm. from years. Really? But why? 
Why, why do you what think that is? What they beefing because over? Because yeah. it never dies. Mm-hmm. Okay. It never dies. Right. It, ne- it just never dies. Like, you know, in New York, it's just like, once you, when you don't like somebody, once you see them, you guys will be fighting for the rest of the, your life. Right. You kind of say that in the song, though, basically. <laughs> yes. Like, like it, 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 that's how it really works. I don't fuck with you is what you, yeah. And then, mm-hmm. like, um, like, I don't know, like, I get into the music scene, and I'm so excited to get in the music scene. Like, oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to get in the music scene. <laughs> And then it's just like, I see it, it be like fans. They be trying to create oh, this yes. crazy tension between me and somebody that I don't even know. Mm-hmm. You've never met Nicki? You've so never annoying. met Nicki Minaj? I met her. You finally did. When did you meet her? How long ago? Not so long ago. Okay. Was she nice to you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I think it's a female thing. You know, it's the same thing in radio. They always try to pit females against each other because it's like nobody, you know, two Wait, people can't be on top and, and they can't. And you know, I hate that because it's like, why do you guys, you, why people, there's the same people that will scream out, Black Lives Matter. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That will be like, oh my God. And then egg each other on. And then egg on. each other mm-hmm. on. Like, it's like, I don't, I don't really see that going on in the pop culture. I never see that. But you know, I'm going to be honest with you. you. You realize it may possibly happen. You know they're going to come for you because nominated for how many BET awards? Nine. 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 But I suggest nobody not to come for me. Because, I know that. Why not? Because I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, they diss me. Mm-hmm. I'm a very sensitive person. If I feel like I'm getting played, mm-hmm. I will hit you up. Like, <laughs> I don't like that you said this. Like, I, is there smoke? Like, you want you want to fight? I want to fight. <laughs> you like, got the hands, need- girl. I got hands in a blade. <laughs> <laughs> She's so real. Hold on, everybody. We're talking to Cardi B. I think this is why people love you. You are the most authentic person. I ain't even really? lie. Like, you are, you are so raw and authentic. Like, you don't even play the Hollywood. Have I'm- they asked you to, by the way? Has, has anybody said to you, or a PR person, or your record label said, okay, Cardi, please please tone it down, sweetie. We don't, We can't have you doing this. I, I, I been, I, everybody tells me this all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everybody tells me this all the time. It's it's really hard for me to um tone anything down because it's just um it's just already part of my character. I feel like I'm gonna be like this even when I have kids. Like yeah. anybody try me, anything like. I'm going to solve it with the way that I know how to solve it. Because it's just like, see that whole back and forth, that whole back and forth. That will kill me. I remember when I used to have beef with um certain people, baby mothers and mm-hmm, stuff. And mm-hmm. we used to go back and forth, the so- whole subliminal thing. It it, it drove me insane. <laughs> she said the whole like, sub- I, can't, I can't do things yeah. like right. that. You can't be fake. No. Okay. No, no, it's not about being fake. It's just like... I can't do tensions and back and forth. Like right. it's just it drives me insane. Some one of us gotta get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> it's either I get beat up yeah. or you get beat yeah. up. So Cardi, your personality is amazing. Who in your family do you take after? Is it your mom, your dad, your grandma? Who has this personality? Oh, um, it's definitely like everybody in my father's side of the family. I okay. think I'm like the least not funny one. What? Oh, no. Are you serious? Shut yes. up. No, Ooh. because it's, when I see you in interviews, you're the person that every interviewer wants to interview Ooh. because. <laughs> you are fun. You're open. You have. I saw you with who? What's his name? The guy off of MTV uh, at the MTV Awards. He's the comedian. Young Flat. DC Young Flat. DC oh, Young Flat. That was hilarious. Girl, that was so that great was to me. I said, this is the type of person you want to have. Has Hollywood called you to be in movies? Have uh, you gotten any movie deals or any movie roles offered? Not movie deals, but a whole lot of TV deals. Yep. Like every single network that you could even possibly imagine but I, mm. I and I really want to do it I mm. just really don't have the time because music really takes like all your time mm-hmm. not only music take all your time but it's like you know you got to do these appearances because like, yep. you know you need money too I, I want my money <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go to these appearances you know what I'm saying oh, the, the club like the, the check club, is way yeah. bigger than what it used to be right yeah the clubs and the shows She's and like, these festivals yeah. and these concerts, like it's like you gotta do it. Mm-hmm. Like you, the, the the radios, you have to do it. Like it, it, it just takes like a lot of time, time. A lot of time. I saw something where you said um, you retired at one point because how often you know since all this started, how often are you in the world? And you said I just need some time to be with me. Um. Yes. Yeah, like like I I I said that like I said. I put I put that some I put that like I, I'm so tired I just need a a day for mm-hmm. me 
And then, like, you know, I, I saw that they put it on certain blogs, and a lot of people said, like, you're ungrateful. Mm. And it's like, I'm not ungrateful. Like, I'm sleepy. Like, um, I want to spend a day in my house, and I want right. to cook my own food. Right. And I don't want to be with my managers. No offense, y'all, but y'all get on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be around Why them 24-7. <laughs> right. I don't want to be monitored 24-7. I don't want to have a security guard 24-7. So like, people don't realize what it takes to do what you do, right? Yes. And then it's just like, I, I don't. Sometimes, like, I, I don't want people to take pictures of me. Like, I feel like I, I'm a I'm an animal in a zoo. Mm-hmm. And and I don't ever want to say no to my fans or anything. But it's just like, like sometimes, like, I could be on the phone mm-hmm. and people just right next to me, like, waiting for a picture. Wow. Or, like, sometimes, like, like, I just woke up. I haven't brushed my teeth. And it's just like I'm getting harassed for a picture. And mm-hmm. it's just like. It's too so much. You don't, have, you don't have a private life anymore. No. Wow. So, Cardi, you know, I mean, with the success of this song, when you first heard it, by the way, did you know it was going to be a, a huge hit? Um, I just didn't know how how big that it will get. Like, I, I didn't know how... I didn't know, like, how much things... Uh, a, a, a song... Mm-hmm. How many things it will bring you? It's up. so right. catchy, girl. Yeah, it is. I, I also like your song. <clears throat> you got a song uh, about having bad weave, mm-hmm. <laughs> girl. I like that song too. I'm like that's uh-huh. catchy too. Like you got a whole bunch of stuff that people don't even understand and know about right now. But those were on your mixtape, right? Uh, the the cheap ass weave song. It wasn't on my mixtape. It was just like you know when. It comes on Pandora, by the way. Because yeah. when you put in Cardi B Radio, yeah. that's one of the songs. Oh, uh-huh, go ahead, Cardi B Radio. Because <laughs> like um. You know, when I was trying to get signed by these different labels mm-hmm. all the time, like, they kept, like, trying to test me. Like, they kept throwing me beats. Mm-hmm. They, they kept throwing me songs. And it's like, like, it's like, hey, we want you to do a song, and we want you to do a song about this. Mm-hmm. And we want you to do it to this um, beat. Because right. mm-hmm. this beat is hot, and this, this, and that. And we want to see you do it. We want to see if you could do it. And it's just like... Send that my way. <laughs> right. Like, I really wanted a big record deal. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, I kept doing what I had to do so I could show people, like, like it wasn't a gimmick. It, it was never a gimmick. Like, mm-hmm. and that's what I'm hating about these new girls that I think, I mean, I'm happy that I inspire women mm-hmm. to do what I do. But right. then again, it's just like, don't water what I do. Right. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people just think like, oh, well, if Cardi could do it, I, I can do, do it. it too. I'm very passionate about uh, music. Hold so on. You Are you talking about Black China? Because, you know, uh-oh. she's trying to do it. I'm talking about anybody. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm talking about anybody. Okay. Like, I'm very passionate mm-hmm. about so you, my music. You, you write your own rhymes? I write my shit. I take time with my shit. I do one. You know, you know what? I know a lot of rappers. Mm-hmm. That I wish I could be like them because they spit right out the brain. Mm-hmm. And it's just like they do amazing songs like mm-hmm. in an hour. Wow. Me, mm-hmm. it will take me literally like eight hours wow. to do a song. That's honest. Mm-hmm. Because I got to write it. Mm-hmm. I got to spit it. I got to ask people like, is my accent too heavy? Because, you know, I have a big, I, 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 I have an accent. Mm-hmm. And I don't notice when I talk it, but when I hear it, it's just like, I don't think people are going to understand <laughs> what I said. <laughs> And I and I and it gotta be perfect. Like Bodak Yellow, I redid it like four or five times. Wow. Right. Now how many pairs of bloody shoes do you own? Oh. Do I own? Mm-hmm. Cause we know you got two because you didn't have to choose when you went <laughs> to the store. <laughs> I I'll say about fifty. Woo! Oh wow. Go ahead, girl. Life has changed, huh, girl? I know that's right. I mean, I mean, like, you know, I've been I some of them I had since I was like nineteen. Mm-hmm. They hurt your feet, certain ones. I just want to be. I just want to be clear about that. Some of they them do. Hell. They ain't made it for black girls. No, man. <laughs> don't have no they made it for foot. black girls. <laughs> they ain't made it for Spanish girls. They ain't made it for thick girls. <laughs> they ain't made it for us. <laughs> so uh, okay, it, hold on. Let me ask you real quick. In your song too, you you say uh, you got a bag and fix your teeth. Hope these hoes know it ain't cheap. Mm-hmm. People want to know how much did you spend on your teeth because you have a beautiful yeah. smile now. How much did you drop? I'm not going to say it because, you know, like, you know, me and my dentist work something out. (laughs) But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like everything that people want to throw at me is just like everybody used to talk about my teeth. And it's like, all right, I got my teeth. And it was not. It's not cheap. Like, Mm -hmm. I I got my teeth done. So what? Like, I. So. So. Everybody does, though, in the industry. Me too. I I mean, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Okay. So finally, before you go, I have a question because, you know, after, you know, here's your success. Um, anybody from Love and Hip Hop call you? Anybody call, or did you get? Are they all jealous? Anybody? 
Um, they call to congratulate you, or yes, all, all the time. Like okay, uh, good. Like Bianca, mm-hmm. oh good. Mm-hmm. Bianca, she she calls with me all the time. She always pop out on my shows. Uh, Mariah Lynn, she always she always hit me up. She always pop up on my show. Matter of fact, um, like yesterday, Bianca, mm-hmm. um, she posted something so she could try to take so people could download myself to go number one, and it's like oh. And then Erica Mena and Tahiri, mm-hmm. I I, I did I, I wasn't on Love and Hip Hop with them, mm-hmm. right? But they put this post of about how the, I'm like the like Cinderella, a, yeah. Oh, and then she's like, oh, oh you mean when you went to the Diamond Ball? That yeah. dress was beautiful. Yes. They, they yeah. said you're you're you are the Cinderella for for all the Latinas, yeah. and yeah, that was dope. And and I and I found that real. I found that real dope because mm-hmm. like they they don't have to do that, yeah. right? They right. don't have to do that. And uh, it's not like they they doing it on a kissing ass way. Right. Is that I? Is they genuinely They're rock happy with you. for you? Yeah. 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 How was Rihanna, by the way, at that Diamond Ball? What was that like with Rihanna? She was so sweet. Is like she? it's just like like she's like a a cool person. Like. Yeah. She's really like that cool person. You really are like the Cinderella when you think about it yeah, because you're getting is. a chance. All these people are the ones that you wanted to, you probably listened to, looked up to. Who's the one person you've met so far? You're like, God dang it, I met that person. Was it Beyonce? Was it Jay-Z? Who was it? Is there anybody? Beyonce, Jay-Z, like Rihanna. Like, it's like, oh. F-. Like, it's just like, I don't even know how to, like, <laughs> like, it's like, I don't know how to talk to these people. Like, it's like, oh, please don't talk to me. I'm dumb. <laughs> don't say that. Like, oh, please don't talk to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, what do we have to do to get your song to number one? What is everybody listening yeah. right now? Because we got to yes. get your song to Let's number one. That. Stream it, play it, love it, download, download it. it. All right. Sleep on it. Stop bootlegging it, y'all. Yeah. Go pay for it. <laughs> Let's make history, y'all. All right. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Well, congratulations. Good luck with the awards and everything. Nine nominations with that. Good luck. I want you to hit number one. Thank you for... I know, right? Thank so you so much how, for coming in. How are you going to celebrate if you actually win a couple of those awards? You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to pop me a bottle of, you know, the strongest cognac. <laughs> <laughs> no, not cognac. I don't smoke liquor. weed, but I might smoke me a little weed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to wrap my hair up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Never buy me a plan B. Oh, oh snap. Oh, snap. Oh, stop. All right. Y'all give it up for Cardi B. Yeah. I love it. Be in the morning. Diddy is a trip. She's so funny. K104.